Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. DC Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sun Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longowal. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Meat, Poultry, Fish and Seafood Products. As you know, the stunning is an important process in the meat processing of animals. So, in the present module, you will be explained different methods of stunning meat animals by my co-author, Mr. Mandeep Singh. Hello students, welcome to EPG Part Shala. I am Mandeep Singh from Sant Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today I am going to talk about module number 5 which is of paper number 8 that is technology of meat, poultry, fish and seafood. This module will discuss the various prominent methods of animal stunning and effect of stunning method on the meat quality. The process of rendering animals immobile or unconscious without killing the animal prior to their being slaughtered is known as the process of stunning the animal. When performed correctly, cause an animal to lose the consciousness so that the animal cannot feel pain while being slaughtered. The law states that with a few exemptions, all animals must be stunned before their killing. Sticking is carried out, for example, a gun fires a metal bolt into the brain of animal causing the animal to lose its complete consciousness immediately. An electric current is passed through the animal's brain via a large pair of tongs causing the temporary loss of consciousness. Some systems also pass the current through the heart so that the animal is not just stunned but also get killed at the same time. Pigs are exposed to high concentration of gases. Now the currently used gas is the carbon dioxide. A primitive form of stunning was used in pre-modern times in a case of cattle which were prolaxed prior to being bled out. However, the animal must be killed for the food purpose but still it is believed that this was unnecessarily cruel and painful to the animal being slaughtered. It eventually leads to the compulsory adoption of a stunning method in various countries. The development of stunning technologies occurred largely in the first half of the 20th century. In 1911, the Council of Justice to Animals, literally known as Human Slaughter Association, was created to improve the slaughter of a livestock and addresses the killing of unwanted pets. The present module will concentrate on the various slaughtering and stunning methods adopted in the present scenario of meat processing industries. Contents for this module are distributed as following. Introduction. In this section, brief introduction will be covered related to the stunning methods, whereas various methods of animal slaughtering will also be discussed thereafter. The common methods for stunning employed and discussed in this module are by means of mechanical that is by gunshot. Again, the mechanical method using captive bolt, chemical method like carbon dioxide and the electrical stunning method like stunning or slaughtering with an electric current. 
the brief introduction regarding the stunning and slaughtering of animals. Slaughtering animals for a food purpose was done for many centuries. It is obvious to kill an animal before cooking and eating. In the old world, raw meat was consumed as such, but with the advent of new techniques and modernization of the world eating habits of human, changes from consumption of raw food to cooked one. In the new world, proper care of a product quality and a process optimizations has been done time to time for a better quality. For meat processing industries, meat quality is dependent on various factors, out of which slaughtering is one of the important process. This is the key process for quality determination of processed meat. The use of sharpened blade for the slaughtering of a livestock has been practiced throughout the history prior to the development of electric stunning equipment some species were killed by simply striking them with a blunt instrument sometimes followed by exsanguination with a knife the belief that this was unnecessarily cruel and painful to animal eventually led to adoption of specific stunning and a slaughter methods in many countries. One of the first campaigners on the matter was the eminent physician Benjamin Ward Richardson, who spent many years of his later working life developing more humane methods of a slaughter as a result of attempting to discover and adapt substances capable of producing general or local anesthesia to relieve the pain in people. As early as in 1853, he designed a chamber that could kill animals by gassing them. He also founded the Model Abattoir Society in 1882 to investigate and campaign for humane methods of slaughter. Now, we will discuss some of the major examples of stunning. Different categories have been devised for slaughtering of different animals. Therefore, the stunning method should also vary. Beef and lamb can be slaughtered by stunning, sticking and then bleeding. Stunning is the method where the animal can be stunned to death by using impact on a forehead. Sticking resembles stunning but by mechanical mean, whereas bleeding is done by cutting the specific vein near throat called jugular vein. These are however very formal and common methods but nowadays Different automation techniques are also applied for slaughtering, which affects the meat quality at very low level. In this figure, it is shown that the cow has been stunned by means of captive bolt. A captive bolt stunning gun kills the animal and reduces it instantaneously unconscious without causing pain. A captive bolt gun has a steel bolt that is powered by either compressed air or a blank cartridge. The bolt is driven into a animal's brain. It is the same effect on an animal as that of firearm with a live bullet. After the animal is shot, the bolt retract and is reset for next animal. A captive bolt gun is safer than a firearm. There have been some questions about whether or not a captive bolt actually kills an animal. Practical experience in a slaughter plants indicates that 
cattle shot correctly with a penetrating captive bolt have irreversible damage to their brain and they will not revive. If a non-penetrating captive bolt is used, the animal may revive unless it is bled promptly. Side view in a figure showing the correct location for the captive bowl placement for effective shots that penetrates the brain. The gun must be placed perpendicular on the skull surface for maximum hitting power. Angling the gun will reduce the ability of captive bolt to penetrate the brain and it will not affect the animal so longer and it can revive easily. In case of pork, to reduce instantaneous insensibility, electrical stunning must be induced an elliptic stage by passing an electric current through the pig's brain. There are two basic type of electrical stunning, head only where the tongs are placed across the head and cardiac arrest where a current is passed through both the head and heart. Head only stunning is reversible and the pig will return to sensibility unless bled quickly. Cardiac arrest stunning will kill most of the pigs by stopping the heart. For pigs, the amperage that is required to induce epilepsy is 1.25 amperes. To reduce blood splashing in the meat, some slaughter plants use high frequency stunning. However, too high of an electrical frequency of 2000 to 3000 hertz failed to induce instantaneous insensibility. Most plants in the US apply a single current passed from the head to body. It is essential to apply sufficient current to induce both cardiac arrest and an epileptic seizure. The author has observed large saws where sufficient current was applied to induce cardiac arrest but insensibility was not induced. In this situation, the saws had natural spontaneous blinking 5 seconds after stunning which later disappeared due to cardiac arrest. Another type of stunning process applied for pigs are the carbon dioxide stunning. There has been controversy about the humaneness of carbon dioxide stunning because insensibility is not instantaneous. It takes about 21 seconds for a pig to lose a somatosensory evoked potential. Pigs are stunned and shackled before having the blood vessels in their throat cut that is sticking, the animal dies by bleeding to death. The lamb slaughtering process comprises of five main steps. First is stunning and sticking. Second is removal of fleece from legs and breast. Third is hanging. Fourth is washing. And fifth is evisceration. Now, we will discuss each and every step in a detail. First of all, the stunning and sticking. Sticking involves cutting through the throat and swearing the jugular arteries. This is done to remove blood from the flesh of carcass although the animal twitches during sticking. This involuntary movement is caused purely by the animal's nervous system. After that, removal of fleece from the legs and breast has done. Once sticking has been carried out, the carcass remain on the stun cradle while 
its fleece is removed from its leg and breast. This helps the slaughterman to later strip the fleece once the carcass is hung. Now, hanging and full removal of fleece. Once the fleece has been loosened from the legs and a breast, the slaughterman carries the carcass from the stern cradle and hangs it in a vertical position. Another slaughterman now carefully remove the entire fleece by pulling it away from the sides and back of the carcass. The fleece, that is the skin, are then stored for collection and are eventually exported to tanneries. Now, washing. The purpose of washing is to remove any particles of wool that may have been left on the carcass. As water is applied onto it, it is removed using the spatula against the flesh and then drained off through the floor of slaughterhouse. Now the evisceration process. After washing, the process of evisceration takes place. The slaughterman splits the carcass and removes the intestine and stomach. These are placed in a container for safe disposal later on. Meanwhile, the heart, liver, lungs and the left hanging down from the throttle for inspection by the ever-present meat hygiene inspector. Now in this slide, we will discuss the various methods of stunning the meat animal. First is the mechanical method by the use of gunshot. Second is also an a mechanical method which is by the meant of captive bolt. Third method is a chemical method in which we use carbon dioxide. Fourth one is an electrical method which cause stunning or slaughtering of animal with an electric current. Now we will discuss each and every point one by one. First is the mechanical method by means of gunshot. This method is approved for cattle, calves, sheep, swine, goats, horses, mules and other equines. The gun is used to render the animal quickly, unconscious and presumably dead before being bled. Now the second method is also an a mechanical method which can use the captive bolt. This method is approved for sheep, swine, goats, calves, cattle, horses, mules and other equines as well. A captive bolt stunner is applied to the livestock so as to produce a quick unconsciousness in the animal before they are dead. The third method is a chemical method. Now the commonly used chemical is the carbon dioxide gas. This method is approved for sheep, calves and a swine. The animal is asphyxiated by the use of carbon dioxide gas before being bled. Electrical stunning or slaughtering with an electric current is an other method of stunning. This method is approved for swine, sheep, calves, cattle and goats. The current applied is sufficient to ensure that surgical anesthesia throughout the bleeding of animal has occurred. Each of these methods is outlined in detail and regulations required that inspector identify operations which cause undue excitement and discomfort of animals and to produce a quality meat. Now, 
the mechanical method of stunning by use of gunshots. The firearms shall be employed in the delivery of bullet or projectile into the animal in accordance with this section so as to produce immediate unconsciousness in the animal by a single shot before it shackled, hoisted, thrown, cast or cut. The animal shall be shot in a such a manner that they will be rendered unconscious with the minimum of excitement and discomfort. The driving of the animal to the shooting areas shall be done with the minimum of excitement. Delivery of calm animals to the shooting area is essential since accurate placement of the bullet is difficult in case of nervous or injured animals. Among other things, this requires that in driving animals to the shooting areas, electrical equipment is used as little as possible and with the lowest effective voltage. Immediately after the firearm is discharged and the projectile is delivered, the animal shall be in a state of complete unconsciousness and remain in this condition throughout the shackling and bleeding. The special requirements for mechanical stunning that is by means of gunshot, choice of firearms and ammunition with respect to caliber and a choice of powder charge required to produce immediate unconsciousness of the animal may vary depending on the age and sex of the animal. In case of bulls, rams and boars, small boar firearm may be used provided they are able to produce immediate unconsciousness of the animals. On discharge, acceptable firearms dispatch free projectiles or bullets of varying size and diameters through the skull and into the brain. Unconsciousness is produced immediately by a combination of physical brain destruction and changes in intracranial pressure. The shooting operation is an exacting procedure and requires a well-trained and experienced operator. He must be able to accurately direct the projectile to produce immediate unconsciousness. He must use the correct caliber firearm, powder charge and type of ammunition to produce the desired results. Now we will discuss another mechanical method of slaughtering or stunning that is by means of captive bolt. This method is approved for sheep, swine, goats, calves, cattle, horses, mules and other equines. The captive bolt stunners shall be applied to the livestock in accordance with this section so as to produce the immediate unconsciousness in the animals before they are shackled, hoisted, thrown, cast or cut. The driving of the animals to the stunning area shall be done with the minimum excitement and discomfort to the animal. Delivery of calm animals to the stunning area is essential since accurate placement of stunning equipment is difficult on the nervous or injured animals. Immediately after the stunning blow is delivered, the animal shall be in a state of complete unconsciousness and remain in this condition until it completely bled. Requirements for the mechanical stunning that it is by means of cap captive board. The choice of instrument and a force required to produce immediate unconsciousness varies 
depending on the kind, breed, size, age, and the sex of animal. Young swine lambs and, and calves usually requires less stunning forces than the mature animals of the same kind. Bulls, rams, and boars usually require skull penetration to produce immediate unconsciousness. Charge suitable for the smaller kind of livestock such as swine or for young animals are not, not, not acceptably interchanged for the use on larger kind of older livestock respectively. Another method of stunning is done by means of chemical stunning that is by using the carbon dioxide. This method is approved for sheep, calves and swine. The animals asphyxiated by use of carbon dioxide gas before being bled. The carbon dioxide gas shall be administered in a chamber in accordance with the section so as to produce surgical anesthesia in the animal before they are shackled, hoisted, thrown, cast, cut or dead. The animals shall be exposed to the carbon dioxide gas in a way that will accomplish the anesthesia quickly and calmly with the minimum of excitement and discomfort of animal. Another method of stunning is done by means of electrical stunning. This method is approved for swine, sheep, calves, cattle and goats. The current applied is sufficient to ensure the surgical anesthesia throughout the bleeding of animal. The electric current shall be administered so as to produce at a minimum surgical anesthesia that is a state where the animal feels no painful sensation. The animals shall be either stunned or killed before they are shackled, hoisted, thrown, cast or cut. They shall be exposed to the electric current in a way that will accomplish the desired result quickly and effectively with a minimum of excitement and discomfort as well. When stunned animals, the most important signs to look for in a properly stunned animal are a floppy head. The head should flop like a wet rag when a hind leg kicks due to reflexes. The tongue hangs straight out and is limp. There are some animals that are stunned properly and the tongue may be trapped in a mouth. In a cattle and a pig, the back and a head hang straight down. There is no arced back writing reflexes. Ignore limb movement for all the method of stunning. Look at the head. Animals that show all three of the above signs will be insensible and blinking and other eye reflexes will be absent. What is religious slaughter? In UK, the Jewish and Muslim communities are exempted from a section of a law in the welfare of animals that is slaughtering or killing regulations 1995 act that requires all animals to be stunned before they are slaughtered. Stunning is a process that causes animal to lose consciousness, make them insensible to pain and suffering. Although there are differences in the way animals are slaughtered by Jewish and halal methods.
but both involve cutting the animal's throat with a very sharp knife in many cases without any form of stunning the teachings of jewish and a muslim religions state that an animal must be fully alive before it is slaughtered accordingly the stunning of an animal before slaughter may be interpreted as being against such religious teachings the welfare of animals act 1995 sets out specific requirements for the slaughter of animals by jewish and muslim method these regulations implement directives the regulation states that among other thing the animal's throat must be cut by one rapid uninterrupted movement of the knife both carotid arteries and both jugular vein must be severed the knife used to slaughter the animal must be inspected before each animal is slaughtered to make sure it is of sufficient size and sharpness to slaughter that animal the rspca recognizes that religious beliefs and practice should be respected we also believe that it is important to ensure that animals are slaughtered under the most humane conditions possible scientific research has clearly demonstrated that slaughter of an animal without stunning can cause unnecessary suffering the rspca is opposed to the slaughter of any food animal without first rendering it insensible to pain and distress until death supervens the welfare of animals act 1995 sets out specific requirements for the slaughter of animals by jewish and muslim method these regulations implement directives the regulation states that among other thing the animal's throat must be cut by one rapid uninterrupted movement of the knife both carotid arteries and both jugular vein must be severed the knife used to slaughter the animal must be inspected before each animal is slaughtered to make sure it is of sufficient size and sharpness to slaughter that animal the rspca recognizes that religious beliefs and practice should be respected we also believe that it is important to ensure that animals are slaughtered under the most humane conditions possible scientific research has clearly demonstrated that slaughter of an animal without stunning can cause unnecessary suffering the rspca is opposed to the slaughter of any food animal without first rendering it insensible to pain and distress until death supervens so students let us now summarize what we have learnt in this module it is a established fact that the majority of conventional meat slaughter houses in a various areas like north america uses some form of stunning to subdue and immobilize the animal before the slaughter there are different types of stunning used for different species including turkey chickens lamb and cattle most halal slaughter houses in north america also use 
some form of stunning before slaughter. Therefore, the Islamic ruling of a stunning is an issue of a paramount importance which has tremendous implication for Muslim consumers and businesses alike. Religious confinements regarding the slaughtering of an animal has also been put forward. The debate over when meat is a halal and whether it should be clearly labeled has been put back on the agenda by vets and animal welfare campaigners who want all animals slaughtered for the food to be stunned before killing. One preliminary point to consider when discussing the ruling of stunning is differentiating between the act of stunning and the legal status of animal which has been slaughtered after stunning. These are two different issues which are independent from one another and should not be cropped together under one banner. Since the legal status of a stunned animal is dependent on it being alive at the time of a slaughter, there is need to discuss how to ascertain that the animal is alive at the time of a death. Extensive review of the scientific literature concludes that the factors affecting meat quality were animal, that is their intrinsic factors, cut or a muscle handling in a life that is handling environment and a diet, multi casual factors, pre slaughter conditions, slaughtering conditions, post slaughtering conditions, and marketing and consumption. Therefore, the research over the discussed topic is also much needed to improve the quality of a meat and its derivatives. Thank you. So dear students, now you know what are the different methods of stunning meat animals, which has been very well explained by my co-author. Now in the next module, you will be knowing the chemistry of post-mortem muscle with respect to loss of hemostatus and post-mortem glycolysis. Thank you.